Hey, what's up YouTube? And this is Mr. Beatty or Carl coming at you at CD74 Beatty. Happy Christmas. It's the day after Christmas and I got a little present from the fam. And or, or I guess say Santa Claus, either one, family Santa Claus. But I got this new flight deck. As you can see, the top deck is uh, made by Pal Peralta right there on the sticker. And I came with it, and I got some vans. I got some nice half cabs this this Christmas. I love half cabs. But as you can see, this is the new Pal Peralta flight deck. And what's really cool about the flight deck is that it's ultra lightweight. It's as thin as your phone. And um, I was talking to Steve Cavallero on Instagram. He skates for Pal. He's a veteran for Pal for a long time. Veteran skater. Um, a legend as you call him and he said that you can attach uh, rails to the bottom of the board with screws which is cool because I was worried about it being too thin anyways to make a long story short what I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply some grip tape here for you guys that don't know how to do it so what I did was I got this mob grip I've had this for a while I'm just starting to use some of my some of my stash I have from years ago and I'm gonna grip tape the top of this deck. So I've cut it into two pieces like this. And what I'm, my idea is to kind of do an old school uh, throwback with the graphics on there, uh, the stickers showing. So um, I'll go ahead and get started with that. I cut this in half with a utility knife like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I apply it to the skateboard. So the first part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the nose. So we'll pull this We'll pull this off of here like this. This is the, the sticky side of the grip tape. And because my my cut over here is a little wavy, because it kind of wanted like kind of natural look into it, not natural organic feel. You're gonna take this hand with the fingers, and you're gonna like touch it on the nose like this. And make sure that you're laying it down in the in the right spot. You gotta get it centered just right. So we'll go ahead and do this. It's been about six months since I've done a video, but I'm an art teacher now and a lot of my students are requesting I do some videos. So this one goes out to Richard that was asking to do more videos. Or said, hey Mr. B, you haven't done a video in seven or six months. I was like, you know what, you're right. So we're just going to lay that here, and you want to work out the air bubbles on the, on the top side first, like this. Just kind of work them out. Just gonna get, there you go. Just kind of work them out like that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the second part over here. Um, before I get started, you want to make sure you have a screwdriver too, because what we're going to do is we're going to score the, score the sides of this like that, if you see that line already. And you're going to need a utility knife. Those are two tools you need. All right. So with that, we'll go ahead and peel this off real quick here. Hmm. Let me go from this side. That would be easier. Yeah. There you go. Pull that off. And if you're doing a, like a little wave pattern like I did, you're just going to go and put it like this. So I'm kind of leaving the crown on the on the paddle showing. And then I'm just kind of working the grip tape this way, back this way. So these decks have gotten a lot of re good reviews. Uh, Giorgio Zantoni, he is an Italian skateboarder for Powell. He's been riding one for one year and this deck is supposedly off the chain meaning that it lasts a long time so now you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to hold it sideways like this and kind of work the edges around like this make sure you get all the air bubbles out too okay. like that Kind of do the edge, even though it's a little close to the side. Do that. Just make sure you do it really, really good. 
can't I can't wait to try out this board because one thing it's super light and two it's super strong. So I can't wait to to test it out. All right, now when I used to work in a skate shop back in the day, Island Water Sports and for MR skate shop team back at the Y, I had to do this a lot. So what you want to do is is you want to take your blade like this and then just come in and go in, go all the way around the edge like this and just kind of clean up those angles now you don't want to cut towards yourself but if you're comfortable with it you can at least cut this way towards yourself and then right when you get in here you're kind of just going to go around some more now I've been doing this for a long time you may find that this is difficult for you at first, but with the, uh, with the, I believe it's either uh, fiberglass or Kevlar on top, it's really hard to screw this up. So there you have it. There's a skateboard deck ready to ride. I think, I don't think there's any air bubbles and I don't see any, but that's really how you set up your skateboard deck. All right, so if you guys have any questions, um, just leave comments below. My students out there, if any of you like to skateboard, I know uh, one of them out there, Caden, he does. If you happen to catch this video, just message it to me what you think. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great Christmas. Have a great New Year's. God bless. Talk to you later. Peace. Peace.